was made in collaboration with Sakurako. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box full of traditional authentic and artisan snacks delivered straight from Japan to your door. Sakurako personally curates and provides authentic snacks, sweets and tea from local makers in Japan every month. Every box has its own theme so to say so you will get every month something unique what I really like about Sakurako is that, well, first of all, some of my favorite YouTubers have already made a collaboration with them, um, but also that they support local makers, local snack makers. Finally, let's open the box. I haven't opened it yet. The packaging is so beautiful. So the theme of the May box is matcha and mochi. Very Japanese. I love mochi, by the way, so I'm really happy with that. And Sakurako provides with every box that they send you this little booklet. It isn't even that little because um, there is a lot inside and they, this booklet explains to you what kind of snacks are in the box. Um, it gives you some more information about the local snack makers that they collaborate with. This booklet, they really put a lot of effort into this. Here are some of the snacks that you can find in the box with explanation. Um, something. Some of them are from Kumamoto. And again, Ho Apriko Mochi. Kuzu Mochi. Kuzu Mochi. And. Oh, I got some. Hashi. So I want to try this uh, matcha manju from Todaya in Kumamoto and they also in their booklet um, they write all the allergens that are in the snacks. This manju perfectly contrasts the slight bitterness of matcha powder worked into its dough with a sweet and bean paste core. Perfect accompanies a cup of tea. I don't have a cup of tea right now. I should get a cup of tea. It smells so good. If you want to experience Japan, I have to tell you genuinely from the bottom of my heart, this is Japan. <laughs> so a manju is not a mochi, a manju is basically, I would describe it always kind of like a cake with a dough and often with red bean paste inside like this. However, this red bean paste is obviously green and matcha flavored and oh it smells like matcha so much. Mm. Surprisingly the matcha taste is not strong at all. The bean paste inside is very sweet but it's really balanced out by the dough outside. Manju are one of my favorite Japanese sweets or snacks. I love them. Mm. Oh, oh my god. So I really, really love this box. So don't forget to check out their website. The link is in the description box below, as well as my code diary04. If you use that link together with my code, you can get $5 off your first order uh, on Sakurako. So don't miss this chance and try some authentic, really good Japanese snacks. Okay, so and now back to the vlog, people. Back to the vlog. So I'm in Akameguro right now, uh, met with a friend here to see some more cherry blossoms because now they're actually blooming, so you can see a little bit in the background. It's super noisy, I should maybe walk a little bit. It's a Friday, but it's this Friday per month, the premium Friday in Japan, where I can uh, finish work a little bit early, so I came directly here to meet my friend and to see this and to enjoy cherry blossoms. 
We also came today because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and on the weekend. So I don't know how it's going to be actually, but maybe I can't go out on the weekend. I don't know yet. So we took a short coffee break here at this place somewhere there and now it's already dark so I'm going to go home. Yeah, tomorrow's a new day so I'll see you tomorrow. But, but this tree is pretty. Yeah, pretty, pretty decent. It seems so, like my friend called and they told her that it's like Good morning, today is Saturday and I'm close uh, to Harajuku Motsando, heading to a cafe where I'm going to meet a friend. We originally wanted to go to a different place that is really popular right now, but because of that it's also totally booked out for this Sakura season. There's this one nice place in Nakamekuro where I went yesterday and I even I passed it. And I've literally seen everyone going there and many places. They are having like a Sakura cherry blossom themed um, afternoon tea and I'm really looking forward to it really excited I haven't eaten today so kind of hungry <laughs> This is the place where we're having our afternoon tea, even though it's like 11 in the morning. But it's supposed to rain today in the afternoon, so it's perfect. They already arranged everything here. And we got this box. I don't know what's in there actually, but we'll find out. I'm really excited. Some cream and stuff. And there's a sakura on top. This looks like a little pudding. I don't know what this is. Anko? Maybe. I'm so... Oh, it's food! This sushi! Oh, oh my gosh! It's noisy anyway, so I don't know if it makes much sense if I talk but we are just trying every every one of the sweets that we've got here. I was always wondering how sakura tastes like because like everything is sakura flavored but like how does it actually taste like? I don't know, I don't taste, it's like sweet. I really like this pudding, I like, I love the cream. I think the last you have jelly? This is actually also bean paste, but not the red bean paste, but a white one. I've never heard of this before, my friend just told me. Oh, it tastes like spring. It's super delicious. It's 
slightly salty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think oh. there's little pieces of the salty sakura inside. Mm. Oh, so good! Oh, yeah. That's it. This is actually like legitimate, legitimately a sushi with pink rice. Here's for RK. I take this one then. Oh, this looks like a cake. Yeah. It's still mainly sweets. What is this? It's maybe a pudding, right? What do I do with this? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's a really sweet yeah. pudding. Mm -hmm. So much fun to get those boxes out here. <laughs> Got it, chicken. <laughs> But how do I put this lemon over this chicken? <laughs> this is like... It's a very small lemon. Look at it. Oh, damn. So we finished our afternoon tea and we're still in Harajuku. Is this still Harajuku or Motosando? Um, walking around a little bit, taking a look at the shops. Yeah, here's a nice cute little antique store, Goodwill. Let's see what we can find. So today I'm at Osaka Station. I'm waiting for a friend or for a couple of friends because today we're actually going to do some hanami, meaning we're going to a park and enjoying the cherry blossoms there while eating and drinking some snacks. By eating some snacks and drinking. Thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to check out sakura ko their website is linked down below don't forget to check out their subscription boxes they are amazing i love the snacks that are inside and the different teas the theme of the mailbox is going to be matcha and mochi and how more japanese can it get a uh, green tea matcha and mochi like traditional japanese sweets like mochi manju daifuku um, i'm really in love with this box there is also one Sakura Sencha tea inside, which was exclusively made for Sakura Ko. So their boxes, I can just say it again and again, their boxes are really unique. Sakura Sencha made by Hagiri in Shizuoka Prefecture. Sakura Ko collaborated with um, Hagiri. 
and created this limited edition Sencha with the aroma of cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms, you guys. That is the mailbox and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it. So don't miss out on your chance to get $5 off with my link in the description box. So don't forget to check out their website and don't forget to use the code.